to make sure that we have a healthy relationship. We saw the other day that, and I'm not trying to rehash history, but you're asking the question, so I'm going to answer it. You know, we had a tweet go out about Martin Luther King. Think about how racially charged that is. And someone rushes out and says to the entire press corps that the President of the United States has removed the bust from his office. Do you, I mean, think about what the signal, hold on, and please both an apologize. No, no, he actually applies to, quote, my colleagues. That's the exact quote, okay? That quote, that report got tweeted out around. And to report, where was the apology to the President of the United States? Where was the, the apology to millions of people who read that and thought how racially insensitive that was? Where was that apology? You accepted the apology, though, sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm asking, where was that apology? And so, I'm just saying that when you, when things like that happen, when John Lewis says that he's never approached, uh, never missed an inauguration, and we find out, actually he did under, he skipped George W. Bush's, that there are points at which we have a right to make sure that we correct the record. I mean, you're talking about integrity, and you're talking about telling the truth and facts. I don't know that it wasn't malicious at all, and I'm not saying, but there's a point at which we have a right to go out there and correct the record. And I 